and 2 will give me a total of 15. So I will place a 7.5 here in front of the oxygen. But as we know, or what have we seen earlier, we can't have a decimal number as a coefficient. So C6H6 plus 7.502 goes to 6CO2 plus 3H2O. This entire equation has to be multiplied times 2, which would give me 2C6H6 plus 15O2, which goes to 12CO2 plus 6H2O. When you do it that way, you would then um, go back and look at the equation and see if it's balanced. But this here would balance the entire equation. So let's take a quick check with our reactants um, and products. I have 6 times 2 which is 12 carbon um, on, the broad, on the product side I have 12 carbon 12 CO2 right here on reactant side hydrogen is equal to 12 2 times 6 gives me 12 so hydrogen is equal to 12 on the product side 6 times 2 gives me 12 Oxygen on this instance is equal to 15 times 2, which gives me 30. And then I have 12 times 2, which is 24, plus 6 oxygen, which gives me a total of 30. So oxygen is equal to 30. So oxygen is balanced as well. The equation is balanced. Okay. The last one that we're going to look at in this is the compounds that have the polyatomic ions. And this here needs to be a parentheses right here. Um, whenever you have a compound that has the polyatomic ions on it, again, as we saw in early examples, you treat the polyatomic ion as one substance, as one thing. Don't break it into its elements. So don't break this into sulfur and oxygen. Just treat it as SO4 and balance it as a whole thing. So let's look at balancing this equation here. Have our reactants and products side, as we've been doing all along, reactants and products. Aluminum is equal to 1. Aluminum on the product side is equal to 2. So I need to place a 2 because 2 is a common multiple, so a 2 goes in front of aluminum here. Hydrogen is equal to 2. Hydrogen on the product side is equal to 2. Alright, SO4 is treated as one unit because it's a polyatomic ion. So SO4 is equal to 1 on the reactant side, but SO4 on the product side is equal to 3. So because SO4 is equal to 3, I need to multiply this entire thing times 3. The common denominator between 1 and 3 is 3. So on the reacting side, I have to multiply times 3. So I have 3H2SO4. Now, in the process of balancing the SO4s, I have now unbalanced the hydrogens. So now I have 6 hydrogens instead of uh, 2 on the reactant side. So so 3 times 2 gives me 6 and I need to also have 6 on the product side so I have to have a common denominator between 2 and 6 so I multiply the product side times 3 so I have 3H2 and having done that I believe the equation should be balanced so I have 2Al plus 3H2SO4 goes to Al2 
SO43 plus 3H2. Okay, that should balance the chemical equation. Let's do a quick check. I have two aluminum on the reactant side, two aluminum on the product side. I have six hydrogens on the reactant side. I have three times two, six hydrogens on the um, product side. I have three SO4 on the reactant side. I have three SO4 on the product side. The equation is balanced. All right, that's a wrap.